Good evening. What's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here on the live stream, checking in on this beautiful Wednesday evening, August 4, 2021. The date about 8:38 p.m. West Coast time in California, where a man, a lot of wildfires breaking out left and right. Not good. Uh, 3.0 out here in the area of the 8.2 earthquake area along the Aleutian Trench. The 8.2 striking uh, quite a few days ago now. Seen a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity in that region over the last 24 hours or so. Take a look at the USGS map here of the... See if I can bring that up, hopefully. One second here, once again. Uh, let's see, uh, what do we got going on? See if we can find the right map, there we go. Not for sure why I did that, but uh, we found it in the cluster of, of browser sources and windows that I have pulled up. There is that 3.0, kind of north of the region of the 8.2 earthquake. 8.2 earthquake kind of struck down here. And there's only been, well, looking at this map, only a couple in that region. Uh, let's go to the all magnitudes. It doesn't really pick up. So we've seen a little migration northward, uh, further into the subduction zone. You look at, look at some of these uh, earthquakes and they're deep getting some deeper movement into the uh, the uh, subduction zone here, the Pacific and North American plate, the Aleutian Trench area. So kind of watching this. Uh, you have to think, what did that 8.2 do? I know the 8.2 earthquake was kind of like a horizontal type uh, slippage in the region. Horizontal meaning uh, a slip or a fracture in the uh, area, release of pressure, and kind of like in this direction right here, uh, where the arrow is kind of moving back and forth. It wasn't your typical down dip um, north south type vertical uh, earthquake release so uh, something's still brewing up there I can tell uh, with that migration of quakes to the north kind of swarming there in that region might be a good time to pay attention for some possible further movement here folks you just got to think about an 8.2 and it's only putting out only a days days later only two aftershocks and they're very small I mean something is going on uh, here in the Pacific Plate. I've been saying that for a while. West Coast, Japan, uh, North American Plate. I think we're okay down here in the south. Uh, the ridge kind of been seeing some activity, but Japan, West Coast, now, now I'm starting to think maybe possibly Alaska again could be getting in on some further action. Just have to pay attention to the swarming up here very closely. Uh, speaking of Japan, we've seen a little quiet spell today. Uh, not as significant as we were looking at last night, but that does not mean that the threat for the potential on the large scale earthquake uh, over here is gone. So I'm gonna leave up the uh, earthquake watch for the uh, uh, Japan area overnight. I kinda like to leave it up 24 hours after the stop of any type of swarming uh, because we did see some significant swarming here in this region uh, of Japan, including uh, quite a few fives. I believe the largest one was a 5.8, many, many fours, and I'm sure many, many others. Uh, but it kind of looked like it was pointing towards something building and, uh, you know, potential mag uh, mega quake in that area. But uh, uh, we'll see. So far, it's kind of it's kind of slowed down within the last few hours here. So but keep an eye on that. Uh, Taiwan did see a little bit of uh, further movement. 5.8, 5.1 in this area. Uh, impending sign of uh, still a considerable amount of pressure in this region. Japan Trench area, uh, Mariana Trench stretching all the way over here to Taiwan. Seen some further movement over here in, in an area, the Anadan, uh, Andaman Sea. Um, this area has seen a swarm of activity. Uh, let's see if we can pick that up. There we go. Uh, over the last week, over the last day, not so much. But man, they had a 6.1, the largest in this sequence of uh, swarming in this area. Uh, and today, just that 5.5. So a little bit of further movement, folks. A little bit of pressure uh, being applied over here in this region from the east. Down here in the south, Fiji Islands, a little bit of deep movement once again in the Fiji area, 532 kilometers deep for that 4.8. And the South America region, somewhat quiet, but not, not all the way. Uh, 4.9 and 4.3, some deeper movement along the Peru-Chile Trench. Puerto Rico, seen a little uptick in earthquake activity over the last 24 compared to last night, right around the southwest area of the uh, Puerto Rico region once again. East Coast, seen a little earthquake activity. Surprising, right? Looks like two of them. They got the 2.1 in a red. 
In fact, when the USGS put this out, they said notable earthquake. And I'm like, notable earthquake? Where is this at? Seen a 2.1 in Maryland. What in the world? 1.2 up there in uh, around the Boston area as well. But let's check out this uh, 2.1. Looks like quite a few folks did report feeling this earthquake. I mean, a 2.1, that is incredible. But then again, it was relatively shallow at 3.4 kilometers. Felt all over um, Clarksville, looks like, Highland, uh, Columbia, Laurel, all over the place. And uh, that's pretty crazy. A 2.1 can be uh, felt like that. But you know what? It, uh, it can happen on the East Coast area. I just want to see if I can pull up any uh, readings and take a look at the actual graph itself, as long as it doesn't take forever. Uh, to do this because I don't want to take a super long uh, do a super long update video Pennsylvania uh, Let's see if this station picked that earthquake up. Yeah, kind of did even though it's a little distance away But um, yeah, we won't go too too much into that But either way some earthquake activity out there on the East Coast. I'm um, looking at historical seismic activity man We just don't see we don't see anything in this specific region, at least according to the 4.5 threshold and above over the last 115, 120 years or so. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, further down south, yes. Uh, looks like the Richmond area. I remember that quake, this uh, this bigger one right there, the five pointer, five point something, I think it was 5.7 uh, quite a few years ago. So, uh, yeah, it just uh, it doesn't happen too often, but they do they do pop up and surprise people, right? Texas, so kind of ramping up around the Pecos, Texas area and uh, parts of New Mexico down here. Uh, Oklahoma getting in on quite a bit of action over the last 24, including a 3.2 uh, in the uh, northwestern part of the state. Kansas up here as well. Uh, once again, Southern California just ramping up. We've seen a little, little bit of increase in activity in the swarming area around Alder Springs in the coastal range here, uh, just due west of me. Uh, Cascadia, seeing a little quake up here, a 1.6, kind of deep into the Cascadia Megathrust zone at 28 kilometers. And uh, let's see, Southern, Southern California looking pretty typical for earthquake activity. No no swarming to speak of at the moment and uh, just your typical uh, earthquake activity that we've seen over the past couple weeks here in this region uh, pacific northwest looking about average as far as yellowstone movement goes let's go ahead and check out that map here real quick and we don't see anything really popping off at all to be honest nothing i don't even see any small microquakes uh, that's kind of odd Kind of odd. All right, Trimmer, what's going on along the Cascadia? Ooh, what do we got? Northern California kicking up once again, folks. Getting a little bit further back build pressure up here along the lock section. Hence the uh, smaller earthquake activity being reported a little bit upstream, uh, a little bit higher up, up the up the dip stream. I don't even know how to pronounce, uh, how to uh, phrase that. But further upscale, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Um, not quite as deep as the trimmer, but a little bit further back up towards the locked area uh, where we've seen that 1.9 uh, taking place in Northern California. So obviously trimmer introduces uh, stress, continual stress along the Cascadia. Uh, and I've always said whenever we see trimmer, or at least lots and lots of it uh, months beforehand, uh, the big one, uh, I, I would think that the, uh, the uh, that that would be a sign that there's a you know a mega quake uh, happening. Basically, what I'm what I'm trying to point out is if we see a lot of trimmer, and um, well, you know we've seen lots of trimmer before, I guess, right? But I think honestly, realistically, that the trimmer adds to the stress of the already built up area along the Cascadia. Quite a bit. It, it can only take so much trimmer, right? You got to think the trimmer is producing. Uh, what's producing the trimmer? Slippage of the plate. What is producing uh, that plate, uh, the Juan de Fuca plate, to slip underneath the North American plate, right? Pressure in the given in this regional area. So uh, definitely heightened pressure out here producing this trimmer 
along the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Got to cut it short. Uh, I do have my nephew here right now. We were kind of out and about looking at the uh, the fire, uh, pyrocumulus clouds over around Chester. I've seen some heartbreaking images coming out of Greenville. Uh, Greenville is uh, southeast of the Chester area. Uh, unfortunately, quite a bit of that town uh, did not make it. And I'm not for sure far as Chester goes yet. I'm not for sure if the fire reached into the town. I haven't seen any images yet, but it was awfully close on the radar that I was looking at earlier. So uh, just overwhelmingly depressing. You know, it's just it's year in, year out, fires, droughts. It's, uh, it's time for me to pack up my bags and pull out my white flag and just, you know, uh, say sayonara California you know good luck and uh, getting kind of close folks to making a committed move we'll see what not not committed to the uh, asylum or anything but a committed move out of California uh, into a much much uh, better area I hope all right guys have a good night uh, stay safe out there uh, I, I am gonna leave up the Japan earthquake watch uh, overnight just because of simple fact West Coast still increasing in pressure over here and also the Taiwan activity picking up so all right folks we'll chat you guys a little bit later please stay safe out there